The studio is 35 years old. It was made in, built in 1980. Before that it was a cricket bat factory. Before that it was a barn. Over that 120 years or so since it was built, naturally wear happens to a building. And bearing in mind that the heating and such was put in in 1980, it's simply not as ecologically sound as it should be for a responsible company to run it in this century. So that's at the heart of what we're doing. Along with the campaign, we'll also be introducing the studio to new viewers and listeners and potential users. And we'll also be introducing lots of great artists from Birmingham and the West Midlands to a new, new audience too. So it's a sort of win-win-win, really. And what's the campaign about? How do people get involved? OK, the campaign can be found uh, by looking for Highbury Studio on pledgemusic.com. Lots of artists these days use Pledge Music to reach an audience, and in fact, just on Sunday, if you went to the front page of Pledge Music, there was us, UB40, and the wonderful Scott Matthews from Wolverhampton, all on the front page of Pledge Music at the same time. Could you give us a brief history about the studios itself? Why is it so iconic? It was built in 1980 by Bob Lamb. Bob Lamb at the time was the drummer with a wonderful band called the Steve Gibbons Band. But he recorded the album, the first album by UB40, which is called Signing Off which was tremendously successful. He recorded that elsewhere, not here, literally in his lounge in Moseley, in an apartment that he had in Moseley. Um, other people following UB40's success came to him, but the neighbours went, Bob, we like you, we like having you around, but we don't want this noise all the time. So he looked around and found this old cricket bat factory, made an offer and purchased it turned it into a studio and that was when Duran Duran came and did their first demos here where they literally got it together and then the wonderful Stephen Tintin Duffy made an iconic dance record here called Kiss Me which was and still is a Midlands club favourite. And what do you think the studio and keeping the studio's future will mean for the next generation of musicians? It'll con continue to give them the opportunity that the last uh, generation of artists have had. And Stephen Tintin Duffy tweeted yesterday, I don't know what my life would have been like if Highbury Studio weren't there.